Okay, so welcome to this video. It's Bravo Foxtrot 1 here. We're doing a quick unboxing of the Baja King Motor KM001, I believe. Let's see what's in the package. It's a petrol uh, RC car. I did the honors of cutting the tape already, so it's ready to be unboxed. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I'll just widen this view. Got my trusty helper on the side here, Mr. Rocks. We call him Mr. Rocks because when he was young, he used to like pick up rocks and bring them in the house. But anyways, I believe this is the receiver. I'll go through that soon. This is the two stroke uh, fuel mixing tank. I believe you put two stroke on this side and the petrol on this side and then you mix it and then it's ready to pour in the car tank. Okay, then over here, you've got the King Motor manual. Okay, so it's the King Motor KM001 Baja. And uh, yeah, let's see, it comes with a spare paper in here. What is this? Okay, this is who we purchased it from. They just put this in and uh, it basically gives a nice small instruction manual. Very nice of the shop to actually do this. Not many shops actually give you some advice, you know, when you start something out like this. And I've been in situations where you blow it off, you know. Trying it out for the first time, you don't know what you're doing and you blow it off. I assume this is the battery charger. It should come with a battery and a charger. I ordered an extra pull strap because not on RC cars, but on other things that or machines that use these pull strings have destroyed them before. This is a programming card for our electrical uh, RCs and uh, hopefully we can use this to get some good response out of those those cars get nice linear acceleration okay next we've got what looks like a toolkit and uh, some rubber covers so we're going to look in the manual and see what that is next up we've got the the tail the fin this is obviously going to change color because we're going to put our stickers on it. So yeah, stand by for that. Next up, we've got uh, Roven shock covers. This is not a Roven buggy. It's a King's Motor buggy, but I truly believe it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. So yeah, we've got that. And this is an inline fuel filter for our Nitro RC build. Very important. This right here is one of the most important pieces of a petrol powered RC car because if the battery dies while the throttle is in the full open position, this car is gonna run away. And this is the only way to save it. So hopefully this will work. Hopefully this will act as a good kill switch and work on this uh, RC car. So let's see, that was, that was in the box. What else do we have here? We have some more tools. I assume this is for taking off the wheels. I assume this metal piece in there is for the spark plug and the spare filter cover. That's very nice of them. Finally, it looks like we have the RC car itself. So let's just pull that out. Wow, it's quite heavy. It is heavy. Okay. Ugh. Okay, and now we're gonna have to figure out how to do this with one hand. This thing is actually on camera, it looks small, but it's quite big and uh it actually emphasizes why we need a kill switch so much because i mean 
This is a heavy projectile that's moving at quite a high speed. Without a kill switch, if the motor is just wide open and you can't control it, the batteries on the unit have died and nothing switches it off, it is very dangerous for anyone who's standing by watching or gets in the way of it because, I mean, this can easily break a leg if not take a leg off. So this right here is the King Motor 1 in 5 scale petrol two-stroke RC and it comes with the tuned pipe. It comes with upgraded shocks which seem quite nice. I hope this is metal. No, it's hard plastic. A piece of cello tape on my hand. It's hard plastic. We're gonna have to replace that. We're gonna put something stronger. Um, it's got a nice cover, decent cover. It's got the fuel tank in here. Looks like quite a big fuel tank, which is good. It's a 29cc engine. Apparently it's got a upgraded uh, pull strap already. Uh, so that's quite good. I'm quite curious to see what servo it's got inside to control the 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 turning, but I'm sure it must be a strong servo. So we'll take a look at that. If it's not, I've got a spare 35 kg or 36 kg servo, and uh, that's by Savox. So this is pretty much what you get in the box, all of this together. And uh, I'm gonna have quite a bit of fun with this because, you know, um, I've always had four wheel drive RCs, and this is a nice cheap alternative to the HPI. And uh, it looks quite decent, I mean, for a clone looks quite decent and apparently all the parts that work on the HPI also work on this so I basically paid a fraction of the price for pretty much the same thing uh, so hopefully this will last long and give us some good service and work well that is the unboxing of the King Motor KM001 thank you for watching Just a quick note, it comes with this FlySky GT3B uh, remote, which is, I've got the FlySky GT3C. This one seems a bit more quality, it's a bit more weightier. Um, it's very nice, I like it. I mean, it takes normal AA batteries, I believe eight of them, but uh, I like this. It's quite nice, it's a bit weighty, and that weighty sort of makes it feel a bit more quality. Um, it's got some trim on channel three, it's got a channel three button, and basically our safety is gonna be plugged in on channel three. So hopefully that'll go well, that'll work, and uh, it'll work out well with this beautiful, beautiful RC car. This is basically the final and most probably the last RC car I will buy. Um, I really just got into them because of the, the motors. I've got a Nitro RC car and uh, this is my petrol version. Uh, this is much easier to handle and deal with than the Nitro because everyone who knows the Nitro cars knows that you have to pull off the body, start the car, put it back on and then start riding. Most of the time, by the time you're done putting the body back on, the car is stalled and it's off again and you have to repeat the process. And with the Nitro RC car, you need the glow plug igniter charged all the time. This uses a spark plug and a coil system. So you literally just put petrol, make sure you've got batteries, your batteries for your controllers, for your accelerator, your brakes, your uh, servos turning the front wheel are charged and make sure you've got batteries in here and you're good to go. The nitro, you've got all that, plus you need a glow plug that's charged, plus you need to take off the body to start it, the sequences to starting it, let it warm up for a certain point and certain period. When you get it for the first time, you have to break it in in a certain way. Uh, obviously with these also you break them in, but this is basically just ride it slowly, gently. And uh, it comes with a tuned pipe, so I'm quite excited about that. And on this car, we've got um, a camera system here and lights. We're going to actually fit this all on this car and uh, it's going to be good.